Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this is a quick little video just to show you what's looking good in autumn. It's the middle of October and you can really see it in what's going on in the garden. Very autumny hues. Leaves are getting those fabulous autumn colour, that red and brown and yellow in some cases from the sugars rising in the plants. I think it's really beautiful. Cornus Cusa is looking absolutely amazing, like a giant red fireball. Wow. This is worth growing just for the leaves alone. But if we go in here, we can see that after the flowers that came in the summer, we've also got these amazing little berries. Here's another two. Now, not all Cornus Cusa produce these berries or ornamental ones, but um, this one does. And this one's a no-named one, just Cornus Cusa. That's it, no cultivar. Hydrangeas are still looking great and this particular one has a very interesting presentation. Here we have pinky flowers, where is, whereas if we look over here, definitely whiter. These are the paniculata types of hydrangea. The Paulonia has done really well this year and um, you might recall back in early spring I pruned this one. I'm just going in to give you an idea of this height because it's very hard to tell when I stand back how big this is but it is big. It's really, really, really big. I couldn't rush past this spot without pausing to show you the fantastic star-like flowers on this uh, Saxifrage Fortini. Now, Saxifrage fortini are plants that like a bit of shade, kind of woodland setting. And look at the glorious flowers I have this year. This one is Rubrifolia, I think. This pink leafed plant in front of us is just amazing. Look at that. It's called Phyllotaca and this particular one is a variegated one although it's hard to see that now but if you look in the leaves there you can see touches of cream and this plant is from the Americas producing such an interesting flower spike that then matures black berries. I really can hardly wait to see them. And the liquid ambers are beginning to colour up nicely. These are plants from the Americas and they have the most gorgeous leaf colours in autumn. This particular variety is called Theo and the leaves are amazing. They're almost like a grapevine. Look at the gorgeous shape on them. Not to mention the deep, re red, rich red colour. It might be looking a little bit scruffy over here, but um, I just had to show you this wonderful Viburnum marazii. And look at the gorgeous autumn colours it gets in the leaves. As you can see from this scene over here, my poor yuccas are really confused because they have sent up flower spikes now in the middle of October. Look at that. And another one behind. Now, yuccas have the most amazing flowers, absolutely fantastic. But the plant, I mean, it's a terminal spike that this flower comes out of. So after it flowers, the plant dies, but it produces offsets. So, you know, you wouldn't even notice it had died. I wonder how these um, spikes are going to fare now that we head into winter. Poor confused spikes. No good can come of it.
the plant on the left there is the muskia I bought earlier in, earlier in the year. It comes from the Canary Islands and I had been hoping to find out more, more information about its hardiness. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lift this beauty and keep it in the greenhouse for the winter because what I need to do is get to a point where it flowers and produces seed. And when I have a lot of seed, then I can grow a lot of seedlings and experiment with their hardiness. But for the moment, this is my one and all only, so I need to take care of it. We're not going to spend any time in the greenhouse today, but you can see it's getting tightly packed. And that giant plant down the middle is my uh, tree dahlia, which has grown excessively this year. Now, I don't think there's any sign of flowers, even at this amazing height. But uh, no, I mean, they might come yet. But this certainly wasn't able to squish over to the sides of the greenhouse this year, as I'd intended. I tried to do it and broke a branch. It does look good there though. Yeah, definitely does. Okay, that's all for now. Just a quick look at some of the trees and plants that are looking really nice at the moment in autumn here. And um, to take a final sad look because we're about to head into winter. But, you know, they'll be back again. Spring is just around the corner. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.